Hello everyone, this is Adeline and I'm here to show you today how to use the files that we created yesterday with the draw files and turn them into a cutwork file. I know that some of you are going to the beach today or yesterday instead of doing your homework like you're supposed to. So I went ahead and created the draw files. I have them already loaded in the software and you can see them in my existing files that I have listed here. If you don't have them, then you have to create new and go back and find them. I'm not sure where you save them, so you'll have to check it out. But the first one I'm going to do is the baby bird. So I'm going to click on baby bird and then go to finish. When I go to finish, you'll see that, oh my, I only have one baby bird because as I mentioned in my blog post, Mary had raised her hand and said, why do we have to do all of that when all we need is one bird? Well, she's right, but I was trying to teach a concept yesterday and she was way ahead of the game. So now, as you can see, I have the baby bird file and if you don't have it, then just go ahead and download it and start with me using that file. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and you'll see that it is a paintworks file because see this little paintworks icon right there that means it's a paint file so what I'm going to do is I am going to change that to a cutwork file and I need to click on the icon for cutwork then I'm going to click running before change it to 1.0 millimeters so I have a little running file all the way around it. And I'm actually going to take out the fill, the yellow fill, by clicking None. So now I have this very easy peasy little birdie file. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to save as, instead of a draw file, I'm going to change it to birdie cut file. Now I know within my folders that it's a cut file. In order for the machine to see this cut file, I have to save as, an exp so now i left click on the exp and i'm going to change it to baby bird cut exp and the design does not fit in selected hoop proceed anyways of course because what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it and i'm going to go up to this hoop left click and rotate it by 90 degrees and i'm fairly certain that it will fit if i just move it down into the center of the hoop there you go so now I am ready to send this to my stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File, Export to Bernina. And you'll see that there's three choices. This is if you own the Deco. This is if you own machines that use direct connections to your computer. But many of us today have the machines that have a USB stick that we can just insert into the side of the machine. So I'm just going to click on that and send it to my stick. And yes, it's been copied. Yay! Mm -hmm. 